friends so let's see uh, one more concept uh, new one that is uh, anatomy of uh, jsp page okay so here a jsp page is a mixture of uh, uh, a standard html tags and a web page content and some dynamic content that is specified by using uh, jsp constructs okay so everything expert that uh, except uh, jsp constructs is called uh, template text and a jsp page is made up of uh, template data or, and or uh, a, a, a syntactic elements okay so each of which can be composed of various components as illustrated in a diagram like uh, you can have like uh, find here so first one is a template data from uh, head, head element to head uh, h1 end which it has the template data and a jsp element is here like this uh, today's percentage equal to so which it specifies jsp element percentage equal to that is uh, uh, which it is the expression part right so this is expression okay and from here to here uh, a new java dot util dot date dot to string means which it displays today's date like that okay this is anatomy of uh, jsp let's see in a brief view uh, uh, about uh, that is anatomy of uh, jsp okay so first one is a template data uh, which a jsp page source will have like a template data you can able to add html xml or text and uh, other direct output okay and one more thing uh, a syntactic elements means you can have uh, you can get a question like what are the syntactic elements okay now you have to tell like uh, directives and then scripting like that java based and expression language and actions like standard actions and custom actions will have so okay this are this is the anatomy of uh, jsp um, you have to remember we will get a question like a two marks question what is anatomy of jsp you can write like template data and syntactic elements in template data you have to write like uh, html xml uh, text information like that and syntactic elements means you have to use like a jsp components what are the components that is there in uh, a jsp you have to write that that is a this is a major building block of a jsp or you can all call it as anatomy of a jsp let's see another concept that is jsp life cycle it is defined as a process from its creation to the till it uh, the destruction okay this is similar to servlet life cycle uh, with additional step which is required to compile a uh, jsp into a servlet okay so first you can have like uh, the paths which it is followed by jsp is compilation and initialization and execution and cleanup okay so first you have to remember that initialization means jsp init method it will be there and then second one is a main logic that is a jsp service method and another one is a jsp destroy method as you all know that when you are and i am dealing with the servlet concept i given information about servlet life cycle in that you can have like init method service method and destroy method right init method nothing but which it is initializes the values so this is the first first uh, path and then you will get like a, a service method which it had do get and do post methods like in the same way whatever i, I given information about servlet right so the same information will be there but before that you have to write a jsp init a jsp service and jsp destroy okay so let's see uh, one more thing uh, that is the paths right uh, uh, compilation path and uh, initialization and execution and clean up clean up nothing but which it is a uh, destroys okay and let's see uh, first phase that is uh, compilation phase uh, whenever a browser ask for a jsp the jsp engine first checks to see whether it is needs to compile the page if the page has never been compiled or if the jsp has been modified since it was last compiled the jsp engine compiles the page like uh, the compilation process involves three steps remember that uh, first one is um, parsing the jsp and second one is uh, turning the jsp into uh, servlet okay and compiling the servlet so these are the three different uh, steps that is involved in a compilation process and uh, main uh, jsp initialization here when a container loads a jsp which it uh, uh, invokes a jsp init method uh, before servicing any request if you need to perform jsp specific uh, initialization uh, override the jsp init method okay so here the jsp init method this is this method is executed first uh, after the jsp is loaded so this is a code part how uh, jsp initialization how to write okay uh, next let's see another one that is uh, jsp execution uh, this phase of the jsp life cycle represents all interaction with request until a jsp is destroyed okay so whenever a browser request a jsp and the page has been loaded and initialized the jsp engine invokes okay invokes the jsp service method the, this is a main uh, important method in uh, jsp and which it, it is a method which it takes http uh, servlet request and uh, a servlet response as a parameters as follows like this so 
so like you can have like a JSP a service method you have to declare like this like we will have classes uh, one is request and response uh, which it creates two objects in the same way you can have in a uh, servlets okay let's see another that is called JSP cleanup uh, JSP cleanup here which it is used to destruction phase and of a JSP lifecycle uh, which it represents when a JSP is being removed from uh, uh, used by the container so this method is uh, uh, the JSP equivalent of a JSP destroy method for servlets. So it overrides the JSP destroy when you need to perform any cleanup, okay? Such as uh, releasing the database connections or closing open files or if you want to terminate the entire connections like that, you can use this uh, JSP destroy method, okay? Uh, which it is uh, uh, has following uh, form. Uh, you can able to observe like this a JSP destroy. You have to write code here, cleanup code, okay? So let's see uh, that is the JSP lifecycle in a simple manner like uh, a JSP init will have, a JSP page will have and JSP page first uh, access or gets changed. Uh, will a, J, uh, a servlet container which it, uh, so uh, here uh, the JSP is a web server, it's a server side programming language based on servlet technology. Okay, uh, the JSP specification is uh, built on the top of uh, servlet APIs. So uh, any JSP page is translated into Java servlet by the JSP engine and at runtime so that the JSP lifecycle is determined by servlet technology. That's important point you have to remember that. So the JSP engine is a spe JSP specification uh, implementation which comes with uh, web servers that implement a JSP. So here Tomcat is one uh, the best example for uh, JSP containers like that. Okay. So when a request comes, uh, uh, when a request comes like uh, to the JSP page, it may come from a client browser uh, uh, or come from the another web uh, web component such as servlet or JSP. Okay. So the web server asks the JSP engine uh, here the JSP engine to check whether the JSP page has never been accessed uh, before or it has been modified since the last access okay if if this is the case the jsp engine will uh, parse uh, the jsp document to translation into a servlet uh, servlet java file uh, and compile the servlet uh, java file into a class file okay so then the servlet container uh, loads the servlet class for execution and send a result back to the client so that is the process of uh, life cycle you have to remember that okay and uh, let's see uh, another concept uh, final uh, that is the uh, that is simple concept that is called uh, JSTL uh, here uh, which it has uh, uh, a standard library a tag library okay J JSP means JSTL means a standard tag library okay uh, Java standard tag library you can have or you can use like a JSP standard tag library so which it represents a set of tags to simplify the JSP development okay so remember you will get a question like explain about JSTL tags then you have to write uh, these four uh, these uh, one two three four five right so there's four different tags are there in uh, this concept you have to remember that so uh, if you write these four different concepts it's enough to write uh, a particular JSP tags okay first one is core tags core tags nothing but uh, which it provides variable supports like uh, uh, URL management, flow control, and uh, like that. Okay, so here the prefix of a core tag is use uh, is, is C. Prefix is C here. Okay, and one more thing, function tags. So function tags nothing but which it provides the support for a string manipulation and strings uh, length or string count or maximum, minimum like that. Okay, so the URL for the function uh, which it tags like this one. Okay, you have to write uh, this statement on top of uh, JSP page and prefix with fn fn with here function tag okay c means core tags okay you have to write like that and formatting tags uh, nothing but you can have like a date formatting and time formatting or number formatting or message formatting like that uh, you can have the following url you have to specify like uh, prefix with uh, m f m t f m t means f m t means formatting tags okay and if you want to use whatever the date functions or methods or whatever the classes related to uh, JSP, uh, if you want to use predefined uh, library uh, tags, uh, you, you, you can use the JSTL, okay, by specifying uh, these type of URLs with the prefix, okay. And la uh, our next one is XML tags, uh, which it uh, able to provide a flow control and transformation, etc. Like the, which it specifies a URL for XML tags, like a prefix with the X. And finally, you can have like SQL tags, 
uh, which it has like uh, sorry so sql tags nothing but here uh, which it can able to support you like uh, which it provides the sql support like that uh, you can able to query database value or table values like that and you can you can have like a prefix with sql okay so remember the core tags will have a different uh, tags like uh, c colon out c colon import c colon set c colon remove or uh, c if c redirect c or like that there are uh, different uh, core tags okay and let's see uh, what are the different function tags i think uh, you can handle how, uh, you can have like uh, fn colon trim okay so if you want to use uh, core tag or if you want to use function tag then you have to specify a prefix value in front of uh, that okay so let's see example like uh, function tag if you want to use like function tag then you have to use like fn colon trim fn colon split or fn colon tool where case fn colon tool upper case fn colon substring fn colon length replace like that okay uh, that is the function tags and if you want to use like a jstl formatting tags then you can have to specify like a, a prefix with the fmt time zone fmt format number fmt parse date fmt uh, colon message or fmt colon format date like that okay and like XML tags will have uh, the things uh, with is, which it is a prefix with x dot x colon out x colon parse x colon set x colon choose x colon if x colon transform you if you want to transform the uh, front end part back end with another values like that okay and last thing that is a servlet i mean a sql tags so which it has a prefix value sql so if you want to do uh, per, if you want to perform a database operation then you can use jstl tags here so by specifying a prefix with sql colon set data source uh, sql colon query sql colon update sql colon parameters and sql colon transaction okay so this is about uh, jstl tags uh, thank you for watching